Hey, what's hey, going on? Peace. How's it going, man? Hey, good to see you, Matt. What's going on? Not much. You need to come by your tent sometime. Say hi. Hello, how about you uh, try riffing on the fact that uh, when Gigi and Ken just came back into the campground, they actually stopped them and tried to check your truck to see if you were in it. Oh, okay. I meant like... Did you hear about that? I did, I said it just happened. It just happened, dude. And they're tearing down the posters. It's the, 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 yeah, it's, it's so funny to me the, the, the lengths to which they are going to attempt to prevent me from attending their event. It's really, I couldn't have asked for That's a right, event, exactly. Right? Like, they accused me of doing all this stuff, like, to promote my website. And, like, I didn't do anything. Like, I didn't go there, I never told them. Oh, by the way, he's live. Told anybody I was going to go there, and they're just talking about me all, all week long. And I just find it hysterical that they've done more to promote my website than I could have ever done on my own. There's really mm -hmm. just not paid for advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the audience here, Chris? Both of you? What? Can you see the audience here? There's a whole bunch of people here just to see you, man. Hey guys, well thank you all so much for coming. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry that the Priest State Project is uh, an advocate of violence, that they would threaten me with the most powerful gang in the history of mankind to prevent me from coming and seeing all of you. I think it uh, does a lot to explain sort of the point that I've been trying to make here, that you know, the, the, the saying that I'm an advocate of violence is sort of ridiculous because uh, you know, I'm not the one you know, threatening people with violence, right? I've, you know, I've been pretty consistent that people have a, a right to defend themselves. And apparently, yeah, the state project has no problem uh, with the state to make, force me to subsidize no, it's their because defense. You violated by them, the rights, to protect their, uh, protect their event from this, you know, very dangerous blogger who, you know, made some radical statements on the internet. And they're willing to, uh, you know, to threaten me with all kinds of uh, uh, horrific violence and imprisonment and death. If I defy their will, so uh, I think it's I think it's really funny, and I'm sorry that it had to come to this, but I think it goes a long way towards making the point. Hey, Chris, you just keep doing you, all right? <laughs> hey, Chris, uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. Questions. I, mean, I came here, you know, a little under two weeks ago. I just I just moved back to uh, to uh, Keene, and I've just been sort of getting this you know studio set up and uh, pursuing a something of a romantic interest and, and you know people are sending me messages asking me if I'm here because they hear Pork Fest and you're already talking about Welcome to the Free Status Project. <laughs>